It's a vibe on Lava Lounge. 93.3. In the studio with me, I have the one who people didn't see coming. The one who a couple of housemates came here and said, Ah, oh, we never saw her coming. Uh, thought she was the underdog. But I have Tati with me in the studio. Hey, Tati. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm very well. You look so good. Thank you, you man. So I love your dress. <laughs> you look so, so, so Thank beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. So first off, before I even go on, it's, is your Tati with a single I at the end or a double I? It's actually... um a single eye uh, but going okay. into the house i did i decided to go double because it was like that on my ig account okay yeah just so people could find me yeah okay, so what about correct if we had like a double eye or a single eye it's correct. um i think let's go with double hey okay yeah so that works okay so good to have you in the studio with me Thank definitely you. but i think my first question will be how are you doing how are you feeling how I'm in you? Lagos, baby, so I'm feeling <laughs> great. So since, feeling... You, since you came to Nigeria, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what is it like? Honestly, how has it been for you? It's been great, right? The reception is amazing. The people here are so welcoming. It's obviously so different from South Africa. Yeah, like I keep saying, the infrastructure, you know, the way of life, the cultural shocks. But it's just been so good having to come here and see like the cultural differences. You get what I mean? So it's just been amazing. So yeah. it's been all positive. Definitely. Oh, okay. Good to know. Good to know that. Good to know that. <laughs> uh, but then, because obviously, so just researching more on you aside from the show. Yeah. Right? yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I realized. Um, yeah, you, I think you had mentioned engineering in the house at some mm, point. Mm, mm. But then he goes on to say biotechnology, microbiology students. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I saw yeah. that online. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay, so what's Tati looking for a big brother? <laughs> so being that, you know, but first off, how is that? How are you an engineering student, a biotechnology student and a microbiology student? How did that come So what's happening is that I am in two institutions here. Okay, <laughs> she's a genius, right? Uh, <laughs> okay, I don't know about that, <laughs> but I'm in two institutions where the other one I am majoring in biotechnology, and um, you're I, still in school, or you're done? Well, I'm not done. Okay, I'm actually doing my last year in both. Okay, yeah. Okay. So um, the other one is long distance, therefore I'm able to study when I'm at home. I just go there for practicals. So since I was at home, I was like, I don't like sitting at home. It feels like I'm not doing anything. Let me just go see what the engineers are doing. So yeah. I decided to do that and tackle the two simultaneously. Yeah. I mean, who just says, let me go see what you're doing in engineering. That, that's, <laughs> that's a big deal. Okay. But seeing that that's an, an entirely different field from, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, the people that would naturally go for big brother, mm-hmm. you know? So what was your aim in going into big brother? I think, you, yeah, go ahead. I think it's definitely doing something that I've never done before. Yeah. Because obviously you look at engineering and you look at now the entertainment industry. It's literally two different things. I just wanted to put myself out there, you know, um, just think outside the box and like, just don't feel like I'm restricting myself in a way. So I was like, okay, let me actually go for something I've never done. Yeah, I've never done in my life. So yeah. Yeah. So is it a decision that you're thankful for? Definitely. Definitely, because I am loving every moment of it. Yeah. Okay. So now you had a very interesting story, right? Interesting involvement on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the, the, you know, the one who is invisible during nominations. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know how you did that. To, you know, people assuming that you didn't have as many fans, right? Mm, To mm, standing mm, up mm, against top contenders and mm, beating mm. them. I was a (laughs) shock on the first time. Like, what? And then to reading like head of house three times. Yeah, 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 yeah. To becoming a finalist. Yeah. It was such a great thing to see in the sense of how the girl that we didn't see coming. Yeah. I, I keep, I keep yeah. saying that. And a, a couple of people would say you were like the underdog, the competitor. Yeah. That people didn't see. Yeah. You know, in the competition. And that was very, except you're a hater, that was very interesting to see. Mm-mm-mm-mm. And even for you, I know that I'd seen you have conversations where you said you didn't even think yeah. you were going to get to the finals. Yeah. So even for yourself, you didn't see that much capability. Exactly. Right? So how did this, you know, sort of, this whole experience, right? How did it shape you or impact you as a human being? I feel like that's when I noticed that even 
as an individual, I need to stop downplaying myself. Yeah. You understand? Because when you head into the arena, you are facing a whole lot of competitive people. I never saw myself as competitive until I was doing things. You understand? So clearly, it was all in my head. I just kept on doubting myself. Like I said, I just kept on. I didn't even think I'll make it to the finals. Yeah. I was like, okay, after three weeks, I'm going to go home. But that was self-doubt. You understand? Mm. So I think now... Those are some of the things I look back at. I was like, okay, sometimes you are capable of so many things. It's just you and your mind that is literally standing in your way. So, I think that's that's one of the things that I learned in the house. Yeah, so it's obviously um, giving you extra confidence, believe in yourself. And yeah. then you realize that there's more to Tati, you know, than the Tati who went into the house. Definitely, right? because I was just... I was just like the girl next door, right? I'm just yeah. conservative. I was just like, okay, let the beauty queens do their thing. You understand? Because I, I, to an extent, I guess we could say that I never thought I was worthy of certain things. Yeah. Until I got into the house, I was like, oh no, I'm actually quite cute, quite competitive, quite strong. You understand? Because that house will challenge you mentally, psychologically, physically. You understand? So when you see yourself overcome obstacles like that, you're like, okay, so I'm definitely... Um, I can do this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which brings me to the next question. Because, yeah. of course, there has to be some, okay, what would now be my next step? What is the strategy? <laughs> you know, at some point, you now felt like, okay, I think I need to get my hand in the game. Uh, uh, Let's uh. get the strategy going. <laughs> so, what words? Because some people saw you as um, very strategic, right? Mm, 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 so, mm, what mm. was your strategy going into the game? Or even maybe something that you realized you had to do to get by in the game? Mm, and mm, mm, how did you navigate through that? So, what was your strategy? So, if we're going to call that a strategy, I guess my strategy was being my genuine self. I always say that in the house. Yeah. Is that never go inside that house with a strategy because you don't even know if it's working for you or against you. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine not being yourself in the house and you go in there with some sort of strategy and you leave within three weeks? You understand? Because you don't know what's happening outside. Rather just remain your genuine self and then people look at you and be like, oh yeah, but I can relate to this type of person and let people fall in love with the type of person that you are. You get me? Yeah. Strategy is a bit tricky. So you, you didn't have any I strategy. didn't at all. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. But then, um, what, what, what's like the sh thing that shocked you the most since you came out of the show, post-show? What's one thing that you had that was like, oh, oh my God, what shocked you the most? The fans. I was, you know. <laughs> you, but, but, I mean, if you got saved, at some point, alongside top contenders, contenders, I'm sure you feel like, yeah, I have fans, right? It didn't click in my head. There was a time where I was up with Ibubu by default, yeah? And then we were saved. I remember saying, we're probably not even nominated. I don't even think, because I was expecting, there, was, there were moments in the house where every time um, it was a Sunday, I would personally go and be like, Tabang, this is Sunday, bye, take care of yourself. You understand? Because yeah. I just felt like I was that... That person that was going to leave. Exactly the same way how people thought that, okay, I was probably like the weakest link. Mm -hmm. That was also in my head. Yeah. Okay, so the, you didn't expect to have that many fans. That, I, I, I didn't. I yeah. didn't. What about things that happened in the show? Mm -mm -mm. Probably you came out and you had something that you felt like, this is not how I thought it happened. Or at least this is not what it was. So <laughs> did you, did you, you must have had something. A lot. So what was like the top, the top on the list? People say that I was quite rebellious in the house. Rebellious? Right? Rebellious in a sense that, you know, I was quite expressive when I speak. Like, I speak my mind and All things right. like that. I didn't even see it like that. You know, people, even now, people look at me and be like, oh, you were quite expressive. You speak your mind. You didn't even care about the cameras. But in my head, I didn't even... I just saw myself as this, like, little cute nonchalant girl that's, yeah. like, probably... In the background of everything. So for me to leave the house and people are like, no, you were actually one of the stars of the show, as they say. I was not expecting that at all. Yeah. yeah. So I, did you hear any misconception about your you since you came out? I think probably people saying that I was fake in a sense that I just want... I, I just want everybody to like me and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And I just look at people, I'm like, I am my father's daughter, bro. Like, we, we are just like that. It's a blessing and a curse. Like, yeah. I am kind to a point whereby I put people first. And people think that it's fake. It's not. But also, I'm telling people today that it is a blessing and a curse. Because 
I'm just so selfless and it's 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 crazy. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna move into some things. Um still on the show. Okay. And I know that you may want to avoid this question, but don't worry, I'm not going hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not good I'm not going hard. But that we have to mention it because it was also a part of you, you yeah, know, yeah, the show, yeah. amongst a couple of other things that I'm gonna yeah, talk definitely. about. But then you were linked with what do I even call KJ? Nigeria's fave. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, on yeah. the show. Yeah. And um, I think for the first few weeks, it was like, oh, my God, we love it. We love it. We love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then certain things happened. People still loved it. And some people started having mixed reactions. So mm, 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 some mm. of the reactions was um, some people thought it was one-sided. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Some yeah. people felt that, you know, your pet shouldn't have nominated him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think especially that be yeah, quite a number yeah. of people <laughs> be like, yes, 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 yes. What is going on? Because yes. especially when, when it's eviction, it is for possible, when it's nomination, it is nominate someone for possible eviction. Yes, yes, so yes, yes, it's, definitely. It's, it's like they can go. Yeah, yeah, know? yeah, definitely. Yeah. And um, what else was, what else did I hear about the situation? Okay, I think when you were evicted, yeah, the yeah, final. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So when Kanaga came out and Abuka asked the question, yeah, um, is it a yes or no? Because he didn't really have an answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, Kanaga said yes. yes when yes, you yes, were yes, asked, yes. I think you said, "Let's see." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. so people would always be dramatic. Yeah, you know, yeah, overanalyze. Yeah. So out of all this narrative that you've had, Mm-mm-mm-mm. right? Because. Um, there are certain set of people who would say, I don't think that Tati liked Kanga. I think yeah, she was using yeah, another yeah, game yeah, yeah. for yeah. all of this. So out of, out of all this narrative yeah. outside, uh, which do you think is correct? Which do you think is wrong? I think for a person to actually use that as a strategy would be dumb in a sense that people don't even understand how emotionally taxing that is. To care for somebody is not easy, guys. You know, Mm -hmm. you don't just wake up one day and be like, okay, as a strategy, I just want to, nah, it's emotionally taxing. So it was definitely not one-sided, but like, what can I say? Because I feel like that is causing a lot of drama. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't think that it's that, I mean, people might feel some type of way, but I don't think it's as deep as what I'm seeing online. I mean, I saw a video of somebody coming at you. In a mm, very, mm, mm, you know, mm, mm. in a very, I don't want to go into details, yeah, 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 yeah. but and I'm like, I get that you might have your reservations, yeah, but yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. it's a bit too much. So the reason I'm asking this question, maybe just might calm things down mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. a little bit, especially with that situation yeah, 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 yeah. online. Um, so what do you have to say with all the chaos around that situation? I think for me, I'm at a point whereby I know my truth and that is sufficient for me. You get what I'm saying? As long as I know that on a personal level, both parties are okay and we're yeah. good, then that's fine. Because at the end of the day, only we as individuals know what actually transpired. You understand? Mm-hmm. What was genuine, what wasn't. You understand? Because there's a, when you leave the house, there's a lot of things that you're going to hear. There were moments where I was like, okay, clearly I don't have friends. Oh my gosh. And like things like that. So I got to a point where by as long as I know my truth, that should be sufficient for me and the next part. You understand? Should there be a problem, something that you guys address and be like, oh, yeah. Do you remember? Did you see that this, this, this like happened? How do you feel about it? What actually happened? You understand? So if both parties are good, then who am I to prove it out there? You understand? Okay. So the drama can continue. I mean, let people do whatever they want to do. As long as me and that person are actually good, I'm okay because we are good. That's right. So, but all of this, um, hopefully, OP has not dented your relationship, friendship, or I don't, I don't know what it is with, you know, KJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not at all. all right. Not at all. All right. Fair enough. All right. So, um, post show, what are some of the things that you are expecting to explore? Um, everything, yeah. In a sense that I'd really like to start doing things that I've never done before. Like I said, be it presenting, be it modeling, be it photography, anything that comes my way that can align with me as an individual, mm-hmm. I will gladly take and challenge myself. Like I said, this is all new to me. But the fact that I am willing to take on the challenge, y'all can bring yeah. anything. I can I- even take your job. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Give me a run for my money. Um, but, but, um, I don't feel like I've finished because I just something just pops in my head. Yeah. Uh, recently, I watched an interview. I didn't even watch it. I just mm. saw a snippet on Instagram mm, 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 where mm, the mm. interviewer asked Kosi, yeah, 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 which yeah. housemate 
which female housemate? I think mm, that's how mm, you put mm, it. Do you dislike? Yeah. And then she goes, mm, not really dislike, but the one person that shocked me was Tati. Yeah. And in her words, I want to be sure that I'm yeah, saying it right. Yeah, definitely. Um, she said something like, "You came for her looks, and mm. you called her a chemical engineer." I don't, I don't know if that, I don't know. I, I didn't watch <laughs> that, but I mean, at the end of the day, I didn't watch the show yeah. 24 hours. Um, so. What do you have to say to that situation? Do you remember that conversation? And do you care about fixing? You know, clearly she has some some sort of. Way I was about surprised it. because, especially one of my favorite weeks actually was like the last weeks because that was when I got to actually bond with her. People yeah. don't even know the dress that I had on on the finals. I look good because of her. That was her dress. You get what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's the little things like that. Like we we got along. You understand? But. I think what happened was that, like I keep saying, once you leave this house, the things that you're going to hear, I think it's always best for you to take it on with the person. So I think what I would probably like to do regarding her, like her and I is yeah. actually have a sit down, like actually sit down and talk to her and be like, but what is a chemical engineer? When did I say this? When did you see that? Do you understand? Yeah. Because I actually like her. So yeah. it's just something you care to fix with Kosi. Yes, definitely. Okay. Definitely. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, mm-hmm. Whoever is in Nigeria, by the way, have you seen her? No, 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 no. Why? Why is that? The last time I saw, because we've just been busy. I, I haven't seen anyone, hey? The last time I saw everybody was actually during the launch. Yeah, what? after the launch. That happened in SA. That happened in SA. Uh, I didn't even see any of them because I've just been busy. Okay, fair yeah. enough. We'll take you. We'll take your word for that. <laughs> but um, something I noticed as well. Um, I think you were sort of cool with cool with everybody. But at the mm-hmm. end of the day, like if if I'm going to like say, oh, who was Tati close to? Yeah, I yeah, would yeah. say Tabang and Ipeleng aside the obvious, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so it kind of also felt like you know, w- like you were cool with everybody, but mm-hmm. then I, I can't place you with like so many people that yeah, you were yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know cool with. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was yeah. making like was. Friend, having friendships or close bonds was that something that was difficult for you and you know coming out of the house who do you see yourself being like really close with in the long run um i think the like one of the first things that you do in the house you kind of go into the house and you gravitate towards people that you feel like you you guys are like share like the same stories you guys mm-hmm. are common you understand mm-hmm. like i kept saying ipiling and i went through like the same traumas and stuff like that and when we sat down those are the type of things we'll talk about tabang just reminds me of my little brother they are the same it is it's it's just crazy you understand so um as far as other people go i think we just didn't get a chance to actually sit down and have conversations and have conversations you know because like right now i can sit down like yvonne is my girl because like in in the like in the Probably in like the last the week. Last week yeah. yeah, I get. I got to know her. You understand? Because I remember, I would be so sad. I was like, oh my gosh. I'll tell you, I was like, oh, that girl. I never got to talk to her. You understand? So it was only in the last weeks where we got to like get on. Like we are tight, tight. You understand? Yeah. So that's when I was like, okay. Maybe I think with other people, it's just the fact that we didn't get to like... So even post show, so it still remains Tabang and Ipeleng and maybe Tabang, Yvonne. Tabang, Ipeleng, Yvonne... I talked to Millie, I talked to your Lucas, I talked to a lot of people actually. Okay. Yeah. All right. But then um coming out of the house, yeah. which, which housemaid can you say were exactly the same as they portrayed in the house? Tabang. Okay. So who did you see? It's as... a lot. It's a lot of people actually. Okay, you know, who else? Like it's like this black boy, black boy is a creative. Even outside he still remains creative. Yeah, no, I'm 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 talking in terms of their passing though. That like, they're yeah. what personality yes, yes. towards me. No, like just in the house. I think probably... Because at the end of the day, it was a mm. game. Like yeah, some yeah, people yeah, just yeah. were playing a game, which is yeah. understandable. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. So who do you come out and be like, okay, so the, the way this person was in the house is the way this person is outside. I think like Tabang, Ibiling, um, and Juicy J, yeah. Um... Okay, so yeah. we're going to take Tavang, Ipeleng, we're going to take Jussie J as yeah. your housemates. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. fair enough. Um, I, I did see you with Josh Too Funny uh, yesterday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's going on? What are you guys working on? <laughs> 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 but there's something, there's something, right? Is there? 
They could be. You were in a video. With, I don't with, know. With Josh Duquani and right? <laughs> <laughs> but then, um, I, I know I've asked you what you wanted to explore generally, but yeah, you were yeah, in Nigeria yeah, for yeah. how long? For a good two weeks or so. Two weeks. Yeah. So what are you, like, off the top of your head, what are the things you would like to do in Nigeria, both pleasure and work? Um, pleasure is definitely having to see this country, you understand, yeah. explore it as much as possible. And obviously with that, try to, fi- like, try to see if there are collaborations that I can do, you understand? Like you're saying, you are out here seeing videos with me and people, <laughs> yeah. things like that, you know, just to, just to try and network and actually put myself out there. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. So I got the part B of the interview. So I'm just gonna ask you random questions and yeah. you give me, you know, answers. All right. So if you were to write a biography, what would the title be about yourself? Obviously, that's what the, mm. would be. the title. Um, evolving. Evolving. Yeah. I think I think that works <laughs> definitely. So what's your, what's your guilty pleasure? My guilty pleasure. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't think of one. There's gotta be something. <laughs> There's gotta be something. Somewhere. I can't think of one at the top of my. I can't think of one. Okay. So, um, do you have any heating talents that you know we didn't see in the house? Um. Everybody has heating talents. You think so? Yeah. So. Oh man, I am so boring. Look at me. I don't <laughs> even have answers for you. <laughs> no, there's gotta be something. Did you like? Twerking? Do you like singing? Do you like like what is it? Um, I don't know. Because we saw some moves that we never oh, saw yeah. over there. <laughs> yeah. So what what is it? What I is think it? probably presenting could be some way. somewhere in there. That yeah, we'll get to see. yeah. Because I talk too much actually. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Not like in the bad. In the, we see yeah, that when yeah. you're having conversations with like yeah. people you're close to. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we all know you have a beautiful face. Aside your face. <laughs> You know, what other part of you makes you feel like, ooh, girl, I'm gorgeous? My body. Oh. I look at myself and I'm like, mm, mm, mm. you ain't got to work out. Speak. <laughs> <laughs> Speak. Three things you, you must do every day. Three things you must do every single day. Eating. Mm-hmm. Calling my parents. Okay. You call your parents every day? Yeah. Oh. I, I, I. Okay, good. Yeah, what yeah. Else? Calling my parents every and praying. And praying yeah. every day. Fair enough. Um, what's your idea of an ideal partner? Mm, I, 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 I appreciate loyalty. You right. see, do you see yourself as a loyal person? Yes. Okay. Definitely. I appreciate loyalty. I appreciate communication. I appreciate somebody that expresses themselves. Um, and I appreciate somebody that has respect you know, you respect yourself, you respect women, you respect the next person that is right next to you, be it a janitor, be it somebody in the streets. As long as if somebody is older than you, doesn't matter how much money they have. Like, it's 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 the little things. Yeah. The, the little things. Yeah. <laughs> now, speaking of things, what's the strangest thing a fan has ever sent you in the DM? Mm, oh, my DMs are wild. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I understand. I promise you. So what was like the strangest? The that strangest you thing. Probably somebody just wanting to give me hella money just to meet me. Like a lot. To a point I was like, okay, it's giving too good to be true. Yeah. Yeah. That was just weird for me. It's like, can I just get a hug? And I'm literally going to send you this money right now in your bank account. Now. I hear like, those no. things. And there are people who don't believe it. So guys, it actually happens. No, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you should, I mean, you should feel some type yeah, of way about it. Yeah, but it actually happens. Yeah, it does happen. Yeah. yeah, there are a couple of people who don't believe it happens. Uh, and, uh, yeah. I'm telling you. Okay, so what's a lie you recently told? Here's that Tassie coming out to tell <laughs> me now that she, she has no lied. <laughs> no, okay. I lie, right? I'm not perfect. I lie. So what's, what's like a recent lie? Probably even this, this interview. <laughs> what's the <laughs> recent lie that you told? <laughs> the, the most recent. Um, did I say I talked to everybody in the house? Yeah. That was a lie. That was a lie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Moving on. If you can have like unlimited supply of one thing, what would it be? Money. Money. All right. Money. Fave Nigerian song of the moment. The favorite Nigerian song of the moment. Um. I just like Buju. So anything, anything. that's him, right, okay. I'll go with. Yeah. Okay. Say something sexy in a South African accent. Like. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. Say something 
In my language, yeah. Yeah, but sexy. I but say, sexy. say it sexily. Say it sexy. <laughs> Let's go. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> You could do it, Tati. You could do it. No, I listen, I can't even think of anything. Um, in my language, um, something sexy. Okay. Should I say I love you? Just say my sexy. Language? Say say something sexy. That's it. Okay. So in my language, when you want to say I love you, you say kaurata. I don't even know if that sounds sexy, but like you can give it one more try. Let's see. Oh, right. oh, that works. I like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, one housemate impression. Like, maybe you can housemate. What? Maybe you can housemate. And ho- yeah. a housemate. Um, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I feel like that's someone that would make it so easy, but go ahead. <laughs> Ooh. There's got to be someone that you can meet me in the house. Damn. I'm just bad at mimicking now. Do, it's a. Do you want me to give you a name? Yeah, but you I, can I, just, I want you. To, I want you to just do your. No, thing. just give me a name. Let me see who is interesting in the house. Do a Juicy J impression. Juicy J. Yeah. Um, Jonga, Jonga, fade, Jonga. Please look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or Justin, because he says Kalo. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Don't have any other question. Most rebellious thing you ever did as a teenager. Let me tell you, there was a moment where I went to this um, music festival here. Mm-hmm. Bro, dude. So I went with my friends. My friends, like, we went back home. I was like, I'm not going. I'm still enjoying myself, bro. So I remember partying so hard because it's a music festival. You learn so many things, the cultural shocks and stuff like that. Yeah. So I went to, like, that music festival. I remember... At 3 a.m., everybody started scattering, going home. I didn't have transport to a point whereby I had to now sleep at a McDonald's alone. Not sleep, but like just go chill with my coffee at a McDonald's alone because I couldn't like I couldn't go anywhere. And I was so far from home. My phone was dead. How old are you? And people not not like 20, 22. okay. Okay. Yeah. So I was just chilling there. There was a lot of people, but yeah. And then I think people were just worried about me. Like, where is she? Yeah. And then I went back home that morning because it's like a two day thing. Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah, we were so worried. I'm like, okay, I'm about to show. I'm going back there again. (laughs) So I went back. So yeah, I think that was just wild because people were just so worried about me. All right. Fair enough. Because of time, we have to wrap this up. But um, what do you have to say to everyone listening to you right now? Most especially your fans. What are your fans called? The Sunrisers. The, oh, yeah. I did see that. The Sunrisers. Yeah, so what do you have to say to the Sunrisers? The Sunrisers, I love them dearly. They are so close to my heart. They do so much and they don't have to. You don't have to. But like, espe- like especially with the team that I have, it's literally girls. It's literally just females that are around about my age. And it's like seeing young women that are my age want to see another girl win. Mm -hmm. That was a complete shocker for me. You understand? Because there are some days I'm like, God, I feel bad. I want all of us to win. But it seems like God just kind of sent them to me. I don't know. I've never seen so much love and so much like they put in so much just to see me make it. And it's it's. It's, it's something that you appreciate. Yeah, so, so yeah. much. You know, and as for the sunrises, they don't have to, but they wake up every day and they in, they are so invested in me and making sure that I actually make it. I, 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 I'm just appreciative of that. Yeah. yeah. But to be honest, especially when I ask the question, how are you doing? Because um, mm-hmm. I saw the very good side. I've seen the nasty side yeah, to yeah, the yeah. show and I've seen what was directed as, as you as well. And regardless of the reservations, I just felt like, nah, this is too much, especially those of video. That came out mm-hmm. i think two days after you were here or something um where somebody was saying negative stuff but yeah. um how have you been managing and i know there's like the great side you've got the support there's also the constant trolling which comes with the show mm-hmm. and with seven things yeah. you know around you so how have you been managing that as much as you choose. And does, does it even get to you sometimes? No, like I am human. Yeah. I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't see things. You understand? You don't want to be looking at your phone and people are saying certain things about you. It's not nice. I'm a woman. I'm a female. And it's, it's, it's really, really not nice. Yeah. But like I always choose to look at the positive side of everything. Yeah. Every time something bad 
every time I see something bad, I just call my parents and be like, did you guys see that people are saying so and so and so and so? I really always count on my parents to be like, no, don't mind that. Just focus on positivity and stuff like that. But I'm not going to sit here and lie and be like, I don't see those things. I do. But at the end of the day, I'm like, you know what? Not everybody's going to love you as long as you know that you are intentional in everything that you do. That's fine. I well said. And what I would say to you is, if you haven't following Big Brother for years, which you've talked about it, I honestly feel like sometimes, don't mm-hmm. you, especially right now, you sometimes you don't necessarily have to look at the comments. Sometimes don't yeah. go finding yeah. it. Yeah. Because um, it's, I, I don't know why they do it, but yeah. it's just what happens and what comes with yeah. being yeah. on BB and especially if you're like, you know, a top contender or yeah. like you have yeah. fans or something. So um, try as much as possible to have a mind of your own. Thank you. And, um, don't really take what they don't even reply don't respond yeah, don't, yeah. don't read it don't yeah. go to it yeah. they'll get tired i promise you they'll move <laughs> on if they don't need to pass housemates they will do it to the next set of right houses. you know but have a mind of your own let your conscience be clear thank you and don't don't pay too much you know attention to that i wish you the very best thank you Patty. so so much and uh thank you so much for coming to hot fm as well and um good luck in the future thank you thank you so much you're welcome it's a vibe on, a vibe. on lava lounge 93.3